scrappers sorry about the delay i basically been suffering with assignments for the last month but i was just staring outside like looking at all the electronics i got and i was just getting really lonesome i miss my beloved i miss scrapping the world but i'm back today and I've got a way for you gypsy scrappers to make some extra cash. Now, a lot of you have heard of the basics like gold, copper, but I guarantee that most of you haven't heard of this. It's actually called tantalum. They use it in electronics to make tantalum capacitors. The tantalum capacitors are used to pull electric in more compact electronics. It actually works really well and it works better for electronics when you discharge it and charge it back up. So it's quite handy for small electronics. Whereas before they have an aluminium one, it's quite a sought after material because you can find it in every single electronic. And also a conflict was fought over the material in the Congo, which lasted for 15 years. And it involved six nations. It's a bit controversial as well. And that's why there's not many people that can actually refine tantalum. But I know people that do that. And that's why today I'm putting it to you scrappers to accumulate this rare earth metal and sell it to me. And I can pay you for it. Now the first ones I'm going to show you, I'll pay one US dollar for every two pounds or one US dollar for a kilo. And I'm just going to give you guys a bit of useful information on what to look for because there's a lot of different types of tantalum and it can be quite confusing. So I'll give you a breakdown of all the basic ones and tell you how much I'm paying. So the next ones you'll see, I'm all paying for one US dollar per two pounds or kilo. The first tantalum capacitor you guys are going to find is called the T330. It's a nice little rectangular looking device. And I have like a little gray line right at the back with a plus. You'll see the T330 on it, but it won't always say T330, it will say 330. So keep your eyes peeled for that because you can find them in literally everything. And the cool thing to note about a lot of these, there's actually some silver content in it as well. I'm not sure if you can see that in the diagram, but that's just an added bonus for why you should hunt for tantalum. <laughs> so we'll get onto the next one, but this one is the most common. So Keep your eyes peeled because it will be the easiest to accumulate. So this next chip is called the T340. It sounds like a Terminator or something. <laughs> the T340 will get you in your dreams. <laughs> so this one's a little bit different. It's actually what's called a tantalum ceramic chip because they've got like different shapes. And the way to notice this one, it's sort of like a rectangular shape with a curvature. And also it's got a serrated bottom, if you know what I mean. <laughs> So keep a look out for these guys. I've seen similar chips to these on aircon units, but they could be on a lot of other different devices. And I'm paying one US dollar for a kilo of these, or two grams for you Americans. <laughs> so the next lot of tantalum we're looking at, the tantalum box, this precious box of wonder. There's quite a few actually. There's a molded creamy box, which you can see at the top. Now you really want to look on the boxes, the codes. Now, the CO52 and the CO62, they're both like a smallish like yellow box. So just look out for that. And the C512 and the C522 are nice black boxes there as well. I'm not going to make any innuendos, although I'm really suppressing the urge to. <laughs> now, the next part is the flat cap. And it's not a trendy looking hat that the Peaky Blinders wear. These are some other boxes you can find for tantalum. And these include the F110, the F120, the F-130, the F-310, the F-311, the F-320, the F-321, the F-330, the F-331. And they all sound like rejected American jets or something. <laughs> but they're not. They're full of value. So the good way to look for it is to look for the codes. But also you can see there's ratings on it as well. There's like one that says 0.001-1.0 UF which I think is a rating for the tantalum. So have a look for them on the actual boxes themselves. One of these just looks like a weird looking toaster. <laughs> Those are what you need to look for. And I'm really talking about all the different types because I want to give you guys as many opportunities as you can to get some tantalum and make some cash. And the good thing is as well, if we can recycle these, we're actually helping a conflict in Africa. A lot of people have died trying to fight for tantalum. So if we can recycle this, we can help people in Africa. And not only that, we can help the environment, which is like a, you know, a win-win. <laughs> The next lot are creamy tantalum capacitors, and these are quite common. This gives you a bit of an idea of some of the types you can expect. Now, the real common types, and you'll see them on a lot of electronics, especially gaming consoles, are the tantalum chips. And those are like the yellow ones, and those include the numbers T491, T492, T494, 
T495, the T510, and the T496. So have a look at it for them. They're really easy. They pop out like dog's balls. <laughs> They're just yellow and green background, which is sweet. So have a look for them. And you'll also find a lot of the other capacitors, the things that are like Martian invaders. There's one called the conformally coated radials. You can see there. And the different codes are there as well. So have a look out for them. And you've got the conformally coated radials on the other side as well. They're a bit more like space invaders. <laughs> you've got the conformally coated axials and the molded axials. And what they are, they're just cylinders, basically. Yellow cylinders. <laughs> you've got the molded radials. And those are just like your yellow looking toaster things. <laughs> it's a lot of yellow. <laughs> the sunflower tantalums, basically. <laughs> so check out for them. Most of the stuff that's yellow is usually tantalum, but double check the codes. So, But definitely keep a check out for the yellow tantalum chips because they're everywhere. All right, guys, let's talk about the next lot. So I just wanted to talk about some more of the molded axial tantalums because there's a few little different types. This one, fortunately, is a mellow yellow. <laughs> And it's a lot bigger, so there's a bit more tantalum in this as well, which is sweet. So have a look for them, because there's two codes as well that you can see with these guys, which is the T322 and the T323. So have a quick look out for them. It's cool with the diagram as well, because you can see that there's actually a bit of silver in it as well, which is sweet. But you guys can just get an idea of how tantalum actually works in the electronics and how they package it, which is sweet. These also can be black, but I also just want to talk about that in the next bit. So let's get on to that. So these monstrosities look like the bullets from Mario. Oh no. <laughs> so as you can see here, we've actually got the black variety and they're a lot bigger, which is what you want. So the black variety, they actually come in a few different codes, which are C114, C124, C192, C202, and C222. <laughs> At least it's not 666. <laughs> the demon tantalum. Basically, there's two different types. The Mac Daddy big black bullet ones and there's the small yellow mellow ones. <laughs> so keep a lookout for them, guys. Now, I've saved the best for last. The Mac Daddy, the Grand Pumba. Get ready. This shimmering capsule full of glory and wonder. It's called the Silver Tantalum Capacitor. This is the Royal Tantalum Capacitor you dirty gypsy scrappers are looking for. <laughs> this is what I'm paying the King's Ransom for. Two US dollars per kilo or per two pounds for you Americans. <laughs> now, you might be asking where you can find this glorious contraption. You can find this glorious contraption with the codes that have the T110, the T12, the T210, the T140, the T42, the T252, the T262, the T240. They're all similar, but the only real difference is the size, and they all sound like Russian tanks, so watch out, comrades. <laughs> and they're really good as well because they actually have the codes on them and in black writing, and they're very silver. You can't miss them. I'm pretty sure these come in refrigeration units and also like air cons and stuff, but they might be in other things, so have a look. So you guys might be asking, you've got the goods, now how do you get the coin? So what I'm going to do at the end of the video, I'm going to list my Facebook page, Proper Copper. So if you've got this tantalizing tantalum in your possession, send me a message with the weight and a picture, including what class of tantalum it is as well. So use the codes and the video to identify this and let me know. Because if you can do that, it's a lot quicker for both of us and you can get that beautiful coin quicker. But if you're unsure, just send me a message and I can help you identify it, whether or not it's the one US dollar one, which is every bit of tantalum I did up till the silver beautiful bullet that you just saw or the two us dollar one which is a beautiful silver container so have a look if you're in doubt just ask me the question and then what we'll do we'll arrange for you to send it to me i'm actually located in australia so you have to make sure you've got a significant amount to make it worth your while but what we'll do you send that to me and then once i receive it i'll send the payment to the payment method you specify so i can do it through paypal or a bank transfer whatever you guys feel comfortable with and we can do it that way i only do it this way because i've been burnt before waiting for the stock to come after i paid the money so i don't like to do it that way anymore that's just my personal preference send me that tantalizing tantalum and i'll send you some cash moolah your way we can help the africans and we can save some of the environment, which is brilliant. So you gypsy scrappers, if you like the video, karate chop the subscribe button, fly kick the like button. And if you've got any ideas or questions for me, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you rusty dumb beaters of the world next time.